Okay, guys, we got 75-year-old Michael here was doing something real stupid in the rain the other day, trying to climb a ladder with flip-flops on, trying to clear his gutters up, but he slipped and fell, hit his head on the wall, and now he has tinnitus in those ears of his. He can't stand it. He can't even walk very well since the fall. He shuffles down the road. You can see this. He has numbness in his fingers. He has knee pain. He has neck pain, and he's here to get better. So we took some x-rays of him. He has tons and tons of arthritis in his neck and his back. You can see he has no teeth here. He was crazy difficult to adjust. Oh. Oh. He is one tight puppy. You guys didn't hear anything? Oh. I don't think I heard anything either. Okay, with Michael here. Uh, he's going to start with us today, and he says he shuffles his feet. So we're going to take a look at how he walks. Come with me. How do you shuffle your feet, sir? That's it. Right yeah. there? Yeah. You can't pick your feet all the way up? Is that what you're saying? I try. I try to, you know. Gotcha. How long has it been like this? Since I hit my head. My name is Michael. My age is 75. I'm a retired carpenter for my hissing of the year. Explain how it, how it sounds to everybody out there. Good, perfect. My neck, it's like tight. Like tight? Real tight. I was climbing up my ladder. It uh, was wet. How old are you again? Eight, uh, 75. <laughs> 75. And it was wet? And it was wet. And what kind of shoes did you have on? Flip flops. <laughs> to fix my gutter and I was coming down and I missed a, a run and uh, I went down, I didn't reach the floor and I turned all the way around and I went side sideways onto the wall almost knocked myself out. I moved my brain, I know I did. I, I hope so you hard. guys leave some really crazy <sighs> comments. Like, dude, old man, <laughs> wet flip flops going up and down a ladder, what the hell are you doing? I never felt old till after this happened. Hopefully you learn from his mistakes. How often do you have headaches? About every few days. Shuffle his feet. You guys saw him shuffling his feet. How long have you been doing that, by the way? About since I hit my head. Diabetes for how long? Since I was 45. Talk about the fingers tip, fingertips too. They just uh, feel numb all the time, but I think that's diabetes. The numbness in the fingers, you said what? Five. Talk about the ears. What, what about the ears? About a four so or five. Or neck pain, any kind of or the no, it's just the there. It's just there. I just went to my doctor when when I fell. Yeah, and they gave me a CAT scan and an MRI, maybe. Yeah. Yes, and and the ear, nose, and throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they find? Nothing. My son seen you on the YouTube, and he really liked what he was hearing and what he was seeing, and he said he was going to send Mama first, and she got a little better. So and then this happened to me, and she he goes. Do it. How long are you married, by the way? Uh, 55 years. Wow. You yeah. still like her? I love her. How much tension pain in your back? None. Not like that, pain. please? Any pain in your neck? No. No. Knees, Knee or back pain? Just knees. About a four. X-rays wise, they're pretty bad. He has no teeth, for one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? You don't have to tell them. That. Is it on? It's on. Uh, the reason I point that out is one, to embarrass him because it's kind of fun. <laughs> but two is because the lack of these lack of teeth are not just because he doesn't brush his teeth. A lot of it because of his neck pain. He's had a lot of problems even before this. The teeth are a reflection of how much he grinds his teeth. And yes, I do grind them. Now he has a big nog out of the back of his head. That's growth. You guys know this. His atlas is not as bad as I thought it would be. He looks like a lower neck problem. So I'm going to start with C4 on him and let you guys watch tons and tons of arthritis more in his back than his neck actually. Five millimeter right imbalance, right TMJ and arthritis. Here we have five millimeter short right leg and massive arthritis on the right side. 123 degree forward head posture, no teeth, reverse cervical curve, atlas wear and much more awful arthritis in this last one. The most important thing you can do Michael is just relax. It's funny I've spoken to your wife so many times I think she's on the table. Hmm. I feel like you're my patient. He is one tight boy here. Huh. Okay, let this go. Now drop your head for me. Just drop, no drop, just drop. Drop it on the table. Oh! Oh! Ah. Woo oh. He is one tight puppy. You guys didn't hear anything? Oh. I don't think I heard anything either. Oh, I thought you were going to take my head off. I was trying. I'm going to have to push way harder. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was pretty tough. So we're going to come in here, get a little angrier. <laughs> this side should go better though. I can already feel it. 
Oh, that's it. Yep. Yeah, you cracked something there. Oh, that felt good. After Michael hit his head on the wall, we want to be careful lifting him up here because, you know, he's probably suffering from a little vertigo. We also reminded him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. So let's check in and see how he's doing. I still hear that. Gotcha. Now, it's really important to recalibrate our patient's spine after we adjust their necks. This spreads the adjustment from the neck to the toes. Let's see how he's doing. You know what's different now? I'm lifting up my legs more. So you're less shuffling? Yeah. I don't hear that scuffle. No. Okay, down back in the door, sir. Stand right there in the door. Don't move. So let's see how you're going to do with these range of motions. What do you think, sir? It went down a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> now there, I didn't have no pains anyway. Any difference there? Not really? No. Look at the ceiling, please. Same. I forgot about this. Now, hands off your legs. Hands off your legs. Yeah, I'm going lower. Yep, and stand up. How's the knee pain? That was a no. four. Yeah, no. Try it again because they don't believe you and you don't believe it. Oh. Any knee pain at no, all? No, at all. Any change there? They're about a three right now, maybe. So about 30% yeah, better? Down, yeah, I could still hear it, but. Is it any less at all? It's fine if it's not. It's about three, four. That's it. I think that's all we checked, right? Yeah. So uh, say goodbye, um, Alice. Goodbye, Walter. Walter. <laughs> We're going to give him his first neck adjustment in the chair today. How much better are we so far, sir? Oh, a lot better. I'm going to push on his shoulders here. How much pain here, sir? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can feel him shake. A lot? Yes. You're going to feel this tenfold. Oh, yeah. Give me your head. Give me your head. I'm going to adjust you in the chair here. We're going to see if we can adjust him. He is one tight puppy. Now don't help, don't help. Let this right ear kind of drop to your right shoulder. Good. Mm -hmm. And don't help. You know, your left shoulder, can you just drop it a little bit, please? Your left shoulder. Good. Oh, that did it. Yep, that did it too. That's the one we couldn't do. That's the one we couldn't do, huh? How have you been doing this week? I've been doing great. I've been doing real good. My walking is a lot better. My little thing in the ear i still hear it a little bit not as much as i used to yeah i think you were a five out of ten before yes, five and or six and i'm probably a one right now we get rid of it sometimes it's not even there so what are the things i teach you here you teach us how to uh sit how to <laughs> i have it i have it I, I, you I can see how tired it is how hard is this sir how hard is this course? it is hard yeah. it's not an easy class this gentleman is 75 years old so i'm picking on him only because He's 75 and I'm teaching him how to walk again. Right. Overall, how much better do you think you are since you've been here? Give percentage wise. I think 50%. Uh, I think so I too. really do, 50%. I would say about that too. We adjusted him in a laying down position, supine position this morning and didn't go nearly as well as we thought it would. In the chair, he seems to do a lot better and he has better relief. And so we're gonna do this for Friday. I don't usually do this on Friday. He loves this. Oh. Tell everybody how much you love this. I love it. There you go. I love it. How much do you yeah. love it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? I think that hurt more than the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to loosen some of his muscles up so I can get a better adjustment. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. Good. Just drop. Drop. Oh, good. That drop. Now this side. Don't help. Don't help. Oh, there he goes, too. Another one right there. Yeah, he does better in the chair, but I can't wait to do his atlas next week. Good. I'm going to teach him how to nose breathe more. You can see he's trying to do that. I'm gonna work on his SCM right here real quick. And he can tell you how painful this one is too. And why are we doing this? We're taking the pressure off his atlas right now. Oh. And this will take pressure off his ear. Oh. And I'm learning how to breathe through my nose. Exactly. Now close your eyes. I'm just curious, how's the ear? About a quarter. About a quarter? Yes. 